Hey, in this video, I'll be sitting down with one of my current students that went from being a correctional officer in a jail to getting a job as a software developer while working with me in the Roots Technology Coding and Career Prep Program. So, if you're new here, my name is TJ, and I'm a self-taught software engineer that teaches beginners like yourself how to code and helps them prepare for the job search. This interview you're about to watch is with one of my current students, and I say current because he got a job as a software developer before he even finished the program, so we're actually still working together. <laughs> but just to give you a quick background info on the student, he's married and has three little kids and was able to do this program while working a full-time job. So it definitely takes a lot of hard work and discipline to do what he did, but this goes to show you that it's possible if you're ready and willing to commit to doing the work you need to do to get to where you want to be in life. So if you're interested in learning to code and making the career transition he did, Definitely check out the Roots Technology Coding and Career Prep Program and come learn to code with me as your mentor. And make sure you watch this full video because he has a lot of great insight onto what his coding journey was like that can really help you to get started on your coding journey as well. Also, All right. Hey, Taylor. So, yeah, would you mind telling us what your name is, even though I just said your name? Uh, would you mind telling us what your name is and where you currently work and what your current role is? Yep, my name is Taylor Agnieszewski, and I am currently a correctional, correctional officer um, at a jail in central Minnesota. I've been there for six years. So, for six years as a correctional officer, and you just got a job in tech, right? Yep. And what is the title that you now have in the tech field? Uh, I'll be a software developer. A software developer. So, you're going from a correctional officer to software developer, which is kind of like two completely opposite, you know, careers and roles. Can you know, can can, can you kind of explain how you even learn about the tech field in general and just, you know, ultimately what 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 got you interested in wanting to learn to code? Um, yeah, so a few years ago, I, you know, was considering a career change. Um, I haven't always wanted to be in corrections. I obviously don't want to make career, career out of it. Um, not many people do, I don't think. So, um, I had a, I had a buddy I grew up, grew up with in high school and stuff, played sports with. He is actually a software engineer. I'm guessing he still is. Um, and I kind of heard about it through there. I was looking at tech, you know, I like, I, I like dealing with computers and more like data and stuff. So, um, I've always been go to computers and I kind of got into it and got a, I got a two-year degree online in software application development um, a couple of years ago, but I didn't really learn a lot. So then I kind of stumbled upon um, looking at looking at boot camps, something more hands-on, do more projects, like to actually learn more um, of like coding, actual how to actually code. So um, and I stumbled upon Roots Technology. I saw it was more affordable than like all the other boot camps. Like they were crazy expensive so um i figured i'd give it a shot because it was a self-paced paced program which was perfect for me because i have a family three kids three little oh, wow. kids so i'm working full-time so i needed something that was you know self-paced something just like that it was perfect um like take my time and actually understand everything and not have not feel rushed so Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, Roots. So I, I guess, can you kind of talk about your experience in the actual like program? Um, yeah, so started out um, like with HTML, creating websites um, and then CSS, like st styling everything. Yeah. And wait, on wait, 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 hold on. Did, uh, before starting the Roots technology program, have you ever built a website before? Um, um not not really. I, I, I kind of tried down my own, but um, it wasn't quite uh, the extent as it was like in Roots. So I mean, not not fully. So okay, okay. What about this program? Would you say really helped you on your coding journey? Really? Um, I would say the fact that the a mentor made me like work out on my own for the most pretty much. So I wasn't like I was given the answer. You know, I was I was responsible for finding the answer myself and having to solve the problems myself. 
and you know he kind of just kept pushing and pushing that route and um and just like overcoming those challenges because you know it was it was uh it was coding is like was stressful and i'm still learning a lot and, and you know getting past those hurdles and understanding and you know overcoming those challenges um and realizing that i did it, I, I did it on my own for the most part even though yep. you know mentor was there he kind of guided me along basically and then just give me the answer um i actually learned so i mean that um i'm realizing now that i know more now than i way more now than i used to like it's it's kind of unbelievable sometimes when i pull something <laughs> up or see some code and i'm like oh yeah i've done that before and yep. i kind of kind of know what that is so that's yeah that's good uh so this is a heavily project-based program um do you feel like that had some kind of impact on your learning and just kind of you understanding how to code and program in general yeah definitely um obviously there was tutorials and stuff but the fact that there was lots of projects i don't think i would have um learned it any other way like i think it would have taken um a lot longer you know, if, if, if I didn't want to have all those projects to do, you know, it was project after project pretty much after doing <laughs> the readings and stuff. Like yeah. it was very hands on and that's exactly what I needed to, to learn. So that's good. That's good. Uh, what would you say was the toughest part about this coding journey for you? Um, I would say probably just um, JavaScript certain javascript mm. projects like um like dealing with the api requests or like the to-do project i mean definitely so um some of the more complex javascript projects definitely that kind of pulled everything together from you know the html css everything that i learned before um leading up to the javascript project just putting it all together so all the yeah. complexity of it um yeah that, that was probably the toughest toughest part for sure so and having to overcome that so okay okay uh and what would you say was the most like enjoyable part about this journey or just the part that surprised you the most um i'd say the enjoyable part was probably just realizing after after i got through the the tough projects you know um just the relief from you know completing it and it's working and, and then i can go back and and uh look at look at the code and understand it you know for the most part you know even if i don't understand all of it i understand a good good portion of it so like um that that's overcoming like a challenge and you know coming out on top is like always a relief for me just I'm a yeah. competitive person so like you know overcoming that was was very was very uh, rewarding so um it made me made me feel proud of like what i did so yeah, despite how challenging it was you know how tough that road was um i'd say the most surprising i guess is just um probably just you know realizing now how much i learned you know from it so um like when i got my my the I did a degree program for software development. I didn't really learn anything at all, but now I can look back from the program and it's just like, wow, I'm surprised every day now when I'm, you know, on my computer doing coding stuff like that. I actually know, know what I'm doing, you know, some, some of the time, but <laughs> I know a lot more now. So it's just, it's a constant reminder right now. Like surprise, surprisingly, it's, my brain's just, um, you know, catches on to things easier now than I used to. So. That's good. That's good. Um, how, how important would you say that mindset was on this journey? Um, extremely. So, I mean, you uh, definitely got to be focused a hundred percent. Um, like I realize now that coding, like you can't really have much for distractions. I mean, you, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, maybe there are distractions in the business, you know, environment of it, but I mean, you got to, um you gotta be very focused and have a have that can do mindset and you gotta be really positive like you can't yeah you can't let it get you down because like it it can you know it can get you down really easily if you let it you just have to like 
have that mindset of, you know, keep going or, you know, if you get stuck and you keep doing something over and over and it's not working, you're doing the same thing over, like step away and take a break, but get back at it. Like you just have to keep going. Um, just like in life, I mean, you just, you got to keep, stay positive. So, I mean, yeah. there's going to be stress. I mean, you just got to have that good mindset of, I don't know, um, getting it done and keep going and um, learning from it too, learning from all your mistakes. So, yeah. So you were talking about focus, right? But you also mentioned that you have uh, a family, right? Three kids and a full-time job. So how did you kind of balance all of that while also learning to code in, in this program? Oh, I don't know how I did it. It was, <laughs> it was, it was tough. Um, I mean, pretty much, you know, when I, everybody goes to bed, I you know that's when I you know, hop on my computer and, you know, whatever I need for caffeine or, you know, even if I, even if I coded for a half hour block or, you know, an hour, you know, I just, I just did what I could, you know, sacrifice some sleep definitely. So, um, middle of the day, you know, I sacrificed, you know, naps for myself. <laughs> Being a busy parent, you know, you got to kind of need naps sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You know, just whenever I had a block of time, you know, I would try to sit down and get stuff done. And um, if I didn't get a lot of coding done, at least I do some reading and understanding. Um, you know, I use my phone. I'd even look on my phone. I try to look up my coding projects, you know, while I'm with my kids. Um, just every day, every day, you know, thinking about it and knowing that I'm in this program and I have to keep moving forward if I want to, you know, get out of jail <laughs> my parent job like, i want to literally wanna, and figuratively <laughs> yeah exactly if i want to like if i want to if i want to you know succeed i i just have to keep going like um and it was definitely a juggling act but um yeah i just kept pushing myself mentally and i never forgot in the back of my head that i have to get this done and realizing why i want to do this you know i want this career change you know i signed up for this, this is my choice so that was just a constant motivator for me. And um, I just always had that self-motivation and um, perseverance to, to keep pushing on, to keep doing it. So that's good. So something that you mentioned was in this program. So I'm not sure if people know, but you have actually not finished a program. You are one of the students that got a job before finishing the program. So can you kind of talk about how you went about getting this job while still learning to code in a program? Um, yeah, so I, I'm i still on the, well, on the last like, module. Yeah, module, module 5 with React. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I haven't, even, I haven't even created any of the apps yet, like yeah. the app projects. So I'm still, like, stu I'm still stuck in the tutorial part of it, like reading and like following along and doing projects with, with the, the person putting on a tutorial. I'm not doing it on my own yet. Um, you know, I just, you know, I've always been looking at jobs here and there in the meantime and seeing stuff in the area because I don't live in, I don't live near a big city. Mm. So it's kind of tough for me. I'm kind of like on the sticks a little bit, you could say. Um, so I just saw a couple of jobs posted, you know, software developer and they were in the nearby area. And I just decided just to drop my name in there just, just in case, you know, what's it hurt, you know, worst they can say is no and not get the job and I'll keep doing the program and continue on. And um, one of them got back to me. The other one, I haven't heard from at all, you know, which is whatever. But the, the one that got back to me, they were very interested in me. And I had two interviews um, and in a, you know, like a couple of weeks span. And, you know, they offered me the job and I was just like blown away because, yeah, I haven't even finished this program. But, um, yeah, so just crazy. So very very awesome. So that's good. That's good. How did you prep for the interviews? Well, it was a combination of prepping myself and, you know, my, you know, having my, having, you know, my mentor. So, and then the roots, roots, you know, helped me along as well. So um, he, actually pulled stuff from the career prep portion of it you know and by he that, me right <laughs> you, you sorry i don't know if i'm supposed to be referring to uh, yeah. oh no 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 it's cool yeah, so yeah, yeah you i mean i mean yeah like pull you pulled stuff from that that part of it and i hadn't even got to that yet so i mean yeah. that was awesome i think some of the stuff that you told me really 
you know, it really helped considerably, I, I believe, in the interview. Like, I think it really, it really helped me out a lot because otherwise I would have answered the questions a little differently in the interview is kind of like how I've answered stuff in other uh, job interviews in the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Are you, I think the question that, that you might be talking about is, did, so I know a question that we, that we definitely practice is the question of what is your greatest weakness? Did they like ask you that in, in, in the interviews? Yes, they did. Oh wow! Yep. Wow, I'm I'm so glad that we actually practiced that question because I was like, I have a feeling he's gonna get this. Like, yes, he's practice this. Okay. Yep. Second interview, they asked that the the HR lady asked that. So. Yes. Oh wow! And it was the HR person too. You see, like the yep. way that we practice answering that question is exactly what the HR person wants to hear like exactly what they want to hear so good job on that um well I guess now just kind of like on the other side of things right like what advice would you give to those looking to make this switch as well um I mean sign up sign up for roots and Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's a self-paced paced program. So you don't have like all these deadlines you have to worry about like you would traditionally in school. I don't know about boot camps. They probably have deadlines. I mean, it's a lot more affordable as well. I mean, if you have a family, you know, and you really want to make the career change as well, like you, it's, it's tough to beat, to be honest. So, um, you know, you know, TJ is really good at what he does. So like, <laughs> Thank you. some of this, yeah, some of the stuff you, you know, the way you explain it to me, I just, you know, uh, it's very made it very easy to understand. You know, so, um, yeah. So I mean, I would say, you know, sign up for Roots for sure. Um, the the field itself, you know, I, I'm just getting into it now, so I know a lot, but I know that there's a lot of pros to the field. So yeah. um, it's a uh, like it's constantly changing. I know there's lots of like tons of jobs out there. It's just growing. So, I mean, it's a great field to get into from what I've been researching and everything. So. All right. Good. good. Uh, so I, I guess uh, let's talk about pay a bit. Uh, how does the pay of, you know, kind of like this role compared to your pay as a correctional officer right now? Yeah. So, because because it's kind of a I'm, a I'm a smaller company I'm going to be working for the pay is actually can kind of start out about the same, okay. But after six months they said they'll give me a raise. I don't okay. know how much that is, but the the posting was for up to like eighty, uh, I don't know eighty some eighty some thousand, which is actually a lot for the area that I live in. So okay. okay. Um, so yeah, it's because I'm kind of away from the metro area, you know, the pay kind of goes down just with everything in general. So, um, but yeah, so. Okay, good job. Uh, so the thing that I really like about being a software engineer and just being a programmer in general is that I don't necessarily have to wait for for a company to give me a raise. I can give myself a raise by switching jobs. And that is actually what a lot of like engineers do. They switch jobs every one and a half to like two years. Cause that way, instead of waiting for like a three to 5% raise, which is, I mean, I think the, the average raise is like a 2.3% raise, but you can like give yourself a 15 to 20% raise just by switching jobs. Right. And that is actually what uh, I did. I ended up unintentionally changing jobs every 11 to 12 months so like my pay was just kept it it just kept going up you know so uh definitely keep that in mind like this is your first job and this is a place where your focus should be to just learn and to absorb as much as you can because that is what is going to help you to feel a lot more comfortable when it now comes to pursuing other roles outside of this company. Yeah, man, good job. Dude, I'm I'm like really proud of you. Like companies don't pay engineers all this money because the job is easy, right? So this is a tough skill to learn. And I, it, it is amazing that you are able to do it with a full-time job, a wife and kids, you know, it's like I got a job and a wife and I'm and I'm like barely keeping up, you know, so you with, with, with all of that, it's like really, 
incredible man so um congratulations like major congratulations to you and wish yeah. you the best and uh continue to keep pushing forward in this program thank you definitely yes i will